Hey broskies, what's up? It's Sona. Today's video is gonna be a little spooky because I'll be drawing characters from the Netflix show Wednesday, if they were modern. Now this show is fairly new and I've fallen in love with it. I watched the whole thing with my boyfriend and I really enjoyed it. By the way, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. First up is the main character, of course, Wednesday. While this show in particular is new, what it's based off of isn't. Wednesday actually comes from the Addams Family, which has many shows and movies I never watched any of them before, but I made in the future. So Wednesday is a comedy horror series with Wednesday obviously being the main character. And the show starts off with her having to transfer schools due to killing a student, in which she attends Nevermore Academy, a place where outcasts go, like werewolves and gorgons and bronies. Throughout the series, she has unusual visions due to her psychic abilities and attempts to solve many mysteries, including including what this ugly weird monster is. Seriously, why does he look like that? Even though Wednesday attends a school for gifted people like herself, she still sticks out from everyone else because of her strange nature. She's goth, murdered, murdered someone, someone, and she is very bold and speaks her mind. I honestly love her character. Like she is portrayed as very over the top, dark and mysterious, but with her it works really, really well. It's not like she's trying to be quirky or different like a lot of other edgy characters I've seen. It's just how she is and how she's always been. She's basically super cool without needing to force anything. She doesn't care about others think about her so much that it throws a lot of people off guard and she is self-aware of what people think of her but she doesn't let it change her though i do love colorful stuff i also love her fashion especially seeing her in all these different outfits throughout the show is so cool yeah sure the theme is always black and white but every outfit is still unique and different from the last also the actor they chose for wednesday is perfect her facial expression is always spot on with her character her face just says i do, I do not, not give a crap. crap moving on to my drawing so as i said i'm modernizing her not to say her clothes are grandma clothes or anything Thing. But you gotta admit, she does look more traditional and old-fashioned. I mostly kept her hair the same, but made it a bit more messy, and also, I made it underneath into an undercut, which is quite popular in these times, as well as a white streak. There's band-aids on her face because, come on, let's face it, Wednesday loves violence. She definitely gets into some fights. Her shirt is this black crop top, which also has a sheer material attached. Cropped shirts are definitely one of the most common things I see today, so yeah. It spells out IDC, which stands for I do not care. I just think this makes sense because, well, she doesn't care. In one of the episodes, Wednesday even admitted that she wishes she cared a little bit more, which is also kind of sad if you think about it. I made her eyes red because we all know Wednesday loves blood. I mean, come on, just look at the dance episode. Yes, their contacts. Throughout the show, she's frequently seen wearing this large black hoodie, usually in her dorm, which is very convenient for me because I love baggy clothes. I'm glad it's a popular thing because it's so cute. Wednesday is shown wearing dresses, but later on in the show, she also appears in more gender neutral outfits with pants. So I wasn't entirely sure what direction to go in at first, but in the end, I went with a skirt, of course, gothic style. Also, I feel plaid skirts a little more formal or old-fashioned looking, so it fits Wednesday anyways while still counting as modern. Now the skirt she's wearing is actually a skirt I own. It's a high-waisted gray plaid skirt with ribbons at the top with a layer of black followed along with a cool sheer material. She's got thigh-high sheer socks and big chunky gothic shoes with spikes at the bottom so she can stomp on and crush her enemies. I really love Wednesday's outfit. I think it suits her really well. Feel free to write it in the comments. Next up is Enid Sinclair. I hope I pronounced that right. Enid is Wednesday's roommate, or so as she says, roomie. Enid loves colorful stuff, social media, and socializing. So basically the opposite of Wednesday. I really enjoy her cheerful personality, and unlike the other students, she's so much more welcoming towards Wednesday, and she actually makes a lot of effort to be her friend despite their differences. She's a werewolf student, but unlike the other werewolves, she hasn't quote unquote wolfed out yet. Basically like puberty for a wolf, I guess. Because of this, her mother doesn't fully accept her for who she is, since she doesn't live up to her expectations. In a way, it's kind of like how everyone expects Wednesday to be like her mother. But in my opinion, Wednesday's mom is still much better than Enid's. Enid is mostly shown wearing skirts and cute colorful sweaters, and I think it's so cool that in the show, Enid is shown making her own clothes, like her super cute pastel heart sweater that I really want, and her skirt that is literally made out of knitted flowers. That is so creative, I've never seen a skirt like that. The designer who made her clothes for that show must have had a lot of fun. It's definitely my kind of style, I mean, I literally wear all of these. Since I think it's so cool that she makes her own clothes in the show, and my concept all the clothes she's wearing is also made by her. Enid is really into social media, and since she seems so cheery, I really felt like she'd definitely be the type to use emojis. So I gave her this fuzzy knitted sweater that she made herself, along with embroidered emoji patches. I also put a dog emoji, since she's a werewolf. The sweater is tie-dye pastel. I see tie-dye quite often nowadays, especially in Hot Topic, which I feel like is a store Enid would go to. And a popular fashion I thought of while drawing Enid was Harajuku. It's super colorful, and one of the trends I see the most in Harajuku is 
is a bunch of rainbow hair clips. To me, I personally think that fits Enid really well because she's such a colorful person. So I gave her lots of cute hair clips in her hair and of course I also put her rainbow streaks. I even made it look like she has rainbows in her eyes. I know that's not realistic, but who cares about reality? I'm just having fun at this point. Her face has cute stickers as well. Just like in the show, she's got rainbow claws. I think they're so cute and looking back at it, I should have added sparkles, but I forgot. Yes, she has four fingers. It's my art style. I always draw four fingers. Thank you. Please stop pointing it out. Of course, pleated miniskirts are popular and at first I was going to make it hollow material, like you know that shiny stuff, but I didn't know how to draw it so instead she has this cute glittery skirt. I also attached two pom-poms. She has a pink high knee sock. Yes, the other leg does not have a sock on it. And I tried to make it look like a wolf with a little tongue sticking out. Her sneakers have velcro straps with emojis and pink platforms. Lastly, I gave her a choker with a paw print. Here's modern fashion Enid. I feel like this really suits her and it's super adorable. All right, my last choice of character may or may not shock you. I could have chosen Morticia, Gomez, the monster, anyone from the series, but I didn't. I chose Thing. Yeah, the hand Thing. Thing also originated from the Adams family, just like Wednesday. He's a stitched up amputated hand of a Romanian magician. You may be thinking, well, Sona, how the heck are you going to draw this for the video? He doesn't even wear clothes. He's a hand. Well, Thing is, without a doubt, one of the best characters in Wednesday, and he deserves a spotlight in this video, okay? Thing originally was sent to spy on Wednesday by her parents, but she found him and threatened to break off his fingers. So now he works for her. He's supportive and helps Wednesday out and even gives friendly advice, even though half the time we don't know what he's saying. And he encouraged Wednesday to make friends and even go out on a date with Tyler. He really did a lot for her character development, investigations, and the show in general. Spoilers, by the way. But when Wednesday found Thing in the room stabbed and thought he was dead, I screamed so loud because I was so upset and it really hurt my boyfriend's ear. When Uncle Fester was trying to revive him, Wednesday showed more emotion than ever and actually cried. It showed that she really does care about him and has more of a heart than people may think. Whether or not she realized it, Thing genuinely brought out a lot of good in Wednesday. The way they incorporated Thing into the show is really cool. I saw the behind scenes video of the dude with the blue screen controlling him. It's really funny to see just a random person in the background pretending to not be there. I also laughed really hard when he hid under the bed. It's very impressive how the actor is able to make him walk like that. His fingers must have been tired. So now to how I incorporate Thing into this challenge. He may not exactly wear clothes, but there are still many ways to show off your hands. One of the main things being nails. Yeah, sure, people have always painted them. It's not exactly modern, but I'm talking about those long acrylic nails that everyone wears now for some reason. Seriously, how do you even use your hands with those things on? How do you use the bathroom? I will admit, there's a lot of cool looking ones though. So I gave things some really sparkly, colorful nails and some aquarium acrylic nails, which are basically translucent ones, which have little things in them like beads or glitter. Enid is actually the one who did things nails, well, besides the pointer finger. Wednesday did that one. And yes, that's real blood. Don't ask where it came from. I also added cute little emojis to the middle one. Enid also knitted a cute scarf for Thing, similar to the one she made for Wednesday, but with sparkles. I figured it'd be really cool if Thing had a mixture of Enid and Wednesday's style, since he is friends with both of them. I wanted to do something with Thing's stitches, you know, I thought they could use some more glam, so we added diamonds and beads decorated on his stitches, as well as a piercing. He's also wearing this ring with a big crystal stone that has the letter T, which stands for Thing. And Enid put a cute little smiley face band-aid on the part where Thing was stabbed. Now it's all better. In my personal opinion, Thing has great skin, but it could use a little bit of skincare. He deserves to treat himself. So he made his own personal skincare cream called Thing Care, as you can see on the side. I just thought that would be really funny. He put it all over his skin and made it look a little more glossy and glowing. Enid also made him a bracelet and glued little beads all over him. During this whole thing, I just imagined Enid wanted to have a fun girls night, but Wednesday would not let her do her makeup for obvious reasons. So instead, she gave Thing a makeover. Lastly, Thing is wearing some googly eyes with some lashes that he found at the Dollar Tree. And there you go. I can't believe it, but I've yasa thing, you're welcome. Thanks Broski so much for watching. This is different from my usual content, but I love the show Wednesday so much and yeah. Let me know your favorite that I drew in the comments. And also let me know your favorite character from Wednesday in the comments too. Mine is, well, Wednesday, obviously. obviously. And I really, really hope they come out with a season two soon because I am very impatient and I want to watch more. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you want to support me more, you can check out my merch shop in description. Also fun fact, I tried to get this video out on a Wednesday and I couldn't and now I'm really mad about it because the video is about Wednesday and I wanted to get it out on a Wednesday, and then I didn't. So I'm gonna be salty about that for the rest of my life, but yeah. Okay, bye!